And now, uh, we switch uh, to the first uh, presentation, uh, Professor uh, Peter Stanchev. Can, can you say some words uh, about you while you are... Because I know many, much about you, but probably I don't know most of what you can uh, highlight. Information systems, uh, and I am the Bulgarian representative of Open Air, which is the European project for uh, open access to scientific information. And I work in this field in the last uh, eight years. In the half a year I spent in Michigan, nice place. <laughs> it's, the weather is not so good, but this is another question. And I work in uh, uh, one. Um, University, the name is Kettering University, it's formerly General Motors Institute. It was formed by General Motors in 1980 for their workers and uh, in some way in 1960 it became private university without owners. It's also a strange thing and uh, um, continue to be uh, the best place in the world if you want to be automotive manager. It's very small, but it's very focused on... Uh, we have, even if it's undergraduate uh, university, we have laboratory for crash laboratory, which is better than that uh, General Motors has itself. So it's very strange place. Today I'll speak about open, uh, open access. Uh, what is open access? More or less open access is the provision of free access to peer-reviewed score and research information. It gives more flexibility, freedom, fairness. Uh, why open access? Open access emerged the digitalization of information in the world wide web. Potential impact of research is highlighted. If you put your uh, publication in open access uh, repository, everybody in the world can uh, view it. It, ha it has high return investment for funders of research. Okay, more or less, uh, I don't know the exact amount, but especially in Europe, the, um, uh, the money is, is coming uh, for research is coming for public uh, public money. So if the public pay the research, the public has the right to see for what the, uh, the, uh, their, gift, their money. Uh, especially for national uh, science uh, funds which are giving money, it's good all the, uh, the people in this country to see the result. So it means all the publications to be put in uh, open access repository. What's happened in uh, Horizon 2020, it's written that all um, funds that are given through um, European Commission, they have to put in a repository with open access so the Commission can show the rest of the world for what the Commission gives so, uh, so much money. Uh, here I put some uh, web which gives the places where are most of the repositories for open access. Uh, it's very fast growing uh, uh, things. Uh, if you go to the discipline, <coughs> uh, medicine is one of the highest. Mathematics is not too much, uh, but uh, I, I was 
in some meeting with uh, some uh, <coughs> publisher, and they said, uh, for mathematics, you, we can put immediately in open access, because usually we pay more than we receive from the journals. So for mathematics, but for social science, is something that they want at least one year or two years um, period, uh, embargo period, because they really earn money from, from these journals. Uh, what's happened in the world? Before it was uh, the model of publication was uh, the publisher print some journals and usually the libraries pay for the journals. Uh, the next step was now the publisher they give a bunch of journals together, not only one journals. And for instance for Bulgaria the Ministry of Education and Science pay a lot of money. To, to the publishers, and uh, in this way, most of the libraries, uh, uh, Bulgarian people can uh, read the journals. Even uh, I took some um, paper for Harvard University, they said we don't have enough money uh, to, to, to buy all the journals. So, What's happened? The open access uh, repository appears. Nowadays we have more than 3,000 repositories. Uh, and uh, the, you see, this is interesting. The amount of repository uh, is increasing, but not the amount of the publication is side. Why do people don't want to put in open access? Because they, they said we want to put in some uh, 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 journals with impact factor, and uh, these journals uh, usually are not putting in open access. Nevertheless, now Elsevier put even books which said open access books. Uh, what uh, the European Commission uh, likes too much about open uh, air project is because all these impact factors are uh, government by private companies and, uh, and European. Uh, uh, you, uh, European Commission wants to manage these things. So, to manage the way and set maybe uh, if we have the repositories uh, under our control, we can uh, manage how many people are reading, downloading, and to establish new measurements. Maybe the amount of reading and downloading is uh, something which is <coughs> more uh, useful for the community instead uh, to impact factor, which impact factor is to the, uh, to the journal. It's not really to your publication in the journal. Uh, okay, here. UNESCO. UNESCO uh, works uh, uh, in open access. Uh, the idea of UNESCO is to build uh, knowledge society. Uh, and if we go uh, UNESCO strategy, there is single. Uh, there is no single approach to open access. There is need to improve the open access. Need to have policy. Uh, and so on. UNESCO works in this field for many years, even if we go in the UNESCO Declaration of Human Rights adopted by the United Nations Assembly on the 10th December 1948, in Article 27, said provides that everyone has the right to free, share scientific achievement and its benefits. So UNESCO continue to work, and even in the last uh, general session, they uh, they, on the, about um, open access, they put a lot. I have UNESCO flyers about the open access, so I put here, so after that in the break, everybody who is interested in UNESCO work in open access can take some of them. Uh, UNESCO published a lot of journals, uh, not journals, guidelines about open access, which are uh, very well defined. Um, uh, define the area, all the possibilities, what is for the scientific, what is for the new research, what is for the uh, lawmakers, what they have to do in this field. Uh, I want to say also some words about open air. Uh, open air is a project, it was first open air, then it was open air plus, 
and for uh, and the new project which will start on 1st of January 2015 is open air 2020. So it starts first for driver, in driver we have uh, uh, about uh, 911 repositories, more than 5 million of publication. After that, a special repository for a, uh, European project will be defined. Something uh, which is the next step was to combine data set. So uh, this is a new movement about the about the data set because uh, the most of the money that the people are giving for research is to make some experiments. For these experiments you receive uh, some data. And somebody, even a small amount of people, studying this, uh, this data, making some uh, statistics, uh, uh, produce a paper. But maybe if these data are available for the rest of the people, uh, maybe some other researcher can go deeper and uh, see more things from this data. And this get is, Nobel Prize. Uh. And get Nobel Prize. I can give you an example. When they, uh, now in the oceans, there are ships uh, for, and they make, uh, the ocean is divided into some rectangles and they make uh, these ships, uh, they see what is the fauna for uh, on this uh, place. And when they open this data for the public, immediately one company found uh, gas inside because they, they know if this uh, kind of fish and so on are, it means they can dig and find something. So, it, uh, especially in medicine, all the medical centers, uh, all the data are private, they don't want to share. If they share, may, maybe a lot of disease will be uh, the, the, the people can find a way to, uh, to find new medicine or something uh, in, uh, to be better treatment of some of disease. So, uh, in Institute of Mathematics and Informatics, we have a regional national open access desk working uh, the whole year. Uh, in here, uh, this is the infrastructure, this uh, desk gives the possibility uh, to, make, uh, to make cooperation, uh, to get statistics. Uh, one of the things that the uh, European Commission likes too much our project is we give statistics. They want statistics, what kind of publication, what kind of uh, distribution, and uh, they like this because uh, they, they uh, trust more. <coughs> about some project which is coming from the European uh, which is founded by themselves. Uh, and uh, Eurodat is another project, even a very big project, which try to work with the data set. So the connection with the publication and the data sets. Uh, I want to say some words about a uh, new, new type of publication. Uh, until now, you have journals, you go, read, and this is, this is gone. The technology is changed, so the, the publication has to be changed. So the new type of the publication, uh, structured publication, in structured publication, you can go and uh, you have tools to, to make your graphs, to make your uh, uh, from the data, and such example is articles of future of elsewhere. Another thing is you can have also uh, possibility to have objects, to have the real data. To if you want to read the paper and this paper is connected, to, let's say with the weather, you can take the real uh, data for weather for today and see how this paper is going, and you make your own uh, graphs. What's uh, not the graphs which are uh, a year ago or something else. Uh, so, uh, when the, the type of publication is going and the way of storing the publication is going, and uh, the people all over the world uh, they, uh, they like uh, uh, 
to do this. So uh, I have here, for, for instance, for Springers, for autos, they uh, ask now autos in Springer to put in their repositories for free. And I have here another um, another uh, paper from Economy, which is from September uh, 2014, in which is said uh, 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 the American Congress, the White House, stepped in the require federal agency that spent more than uh, hundred millions a year of research to publish the result where they can be read for free. So even uh, the America, uh, they adopt if the, they receive too much money from the public money, they have to publish all results for free. Uh, what's going in Bulgaria? Uh, we maintain the National Open Access uh, Desk. Uh, the main players are, oh, we have uh, two repositories in the Institute of Mathematics and Informatics. One is LDML, about all the publication in the field of mathematics. It's connected to it. Uh, most of European mathematician repository. Uh, there are very nice things inside, for instance, uh, search by formulas. Uh, main players are also Bulgarian Academy of Sciences, Bulgarian Information Consortium, New Bulgarian University, Sofia University, Bulgarian University, National Academic Library Information System Forum, uh, and so on. And uh, we work here together with Ministry of uh, Education and Science, Ministry of Education and Science, they are official represent uh, about open access in the European Commission, Ministry of Transport, Information, Technology, Communication are also in the group which are uh, working with the European Commission about the infrastructure in Bulgaria, we partner Spark Europe, Open Access Repository, Confederation, UNESCO and so on. Uh, something that happened every year in Bulgaria when we organize a National Information Day, something which was <laughs> nice. Uh, we, uh, the president of Bulgarian Academy of Sciences uh, signed, it was uh, 406th uh, organization uh, which signs the uh, Berlin Declaration of Open Access and Knowledge, which was done uh, this year. Uh, also, there is a commission for the work of um, a vision and action plan for the implementation of the principle of open access to scientific information. Uh, this commission makes many recommendations. I will skip uh, and also uh, national science infrastructure. Unfortunately, uh, as many of you know, in Bulgaria there are many changes in the, um, in the level of ministry. So none of this is real uh, in, in a place, so, but it was done. Uh, the other uh, sets of repositories in Bulgaria we have two, like I mentioned, in the Institute of Mathematics. There is one in Bulgaria, Free University, which we built for one day, so if somebody interesting to make, uh, to have a free repository, we can build it. There is another which is very uh, fast growing in Medical University in Sofia. Uh, the oldest is uh, New Bulgarian University, something which is nice that I like too much. Uh, every, every publication in this place they have to put in this repository. By the end of the year, automatically they make a uh, uh, list of the publication. If there is no in this repository, it means you didn't do anything this year. And uh, another is Sofia University. Uh, we work together with UNESCO. We make uh, uh, this year we make um, um, workshop about uh, open access. 
uh, under the logo of UNESCO. People from UNESCO, they came and we, uh, we discussed the problem. What uh, is planned for um, 1915? They are planned two events. Uh, they'll be in Sofia, so I'll, uh, I'll be happy if some of you will come. One will be UNESCO Regional Policy Maker Consultation and, uh, and Training on Open Access. And another will be uh, FOSTER. FOSTER is one of EU project about open access. FOSTER also will organize workshop for young, work, uh, young scientific uh, teacher, people from museum, uh, uh, libraries and so on in the field of open access. Uh, which will be training school. Uh, conclusion, we will continue to propagate the ideas. Questions? There are so many places you can go and uh, see something about open access. And if, you, if we like or we don't like, this is the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. Uh, I think this is a very interesting uh, presentation. Just uh, and the audiences. Uh, do you know where 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 the open access comes from uh, as a model? MIT. Mm -hmm. MIT. And uh, we discussed this issue uh, in 2007 when we discussed uh, uh, the handbook. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tir Tom was sharing some secrets how to avoid the restrictions of the publishers uh, and to apply open access. It was 2007, I think. And uh, he says, well, you can put the open access uh, preliminary paper with very small changes uh, before the official paper. Uh, but that's going on. I mean, and uh, there is a European directive that means uh, that's policy, and uh, uh, any directive should be adopted at national level. That means Bulgaria should adopt it. And as Peter says, there is no way to, av to avoid this. Maybe some problems would appear when the data could be... I mean, if you are a f physicist and um, have some data, it's difficult to make people to share, maybe you too. You have data, how can you share? But that something should happen in this direction because the world goes to open. Open innovation, open access, open data, open administrative data. And, uh, I want to tell you something. For instance, IEEE, which is one of the, okay, it's the biggest organization in the field of engineering and computer science, now they are allowed every author to put their publication in their own uh, site. So, in this case, they sell uh, uh, journals, but if you like, you can go from the site of the person to take it. This is completely new way people in the world are thinking about uh, openness. So, it, it was people who established the Soft University of Matis probably uh, was eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's yeah. my formal life. Okay. Yeah, it's formal life. <laughs> Uh, it was a uh, question when you uh, were there. Uh, questions uh, to Peter. We have, let's say, the room for two questions. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, it's, well if, if it should be a question, then what is the opinion of the publishers? Uh, How do they accept this? Because there are some very important issues here. Uh, the publisher, they make now, uh, they put uh, embargo periods. So even the publisher, they agree uh, to, uh, to publish after some embargo yes. period. So we call it a window. Okay, some, some window. Three years or five years. Uh, they, so uh, now European, uh, the European Commission speaks about six months and one year, but uh, no. there is negotiation with the publishers. There are two, two points here. One is the open access, as you say, people deserve because we are taxpayers, but the guys that are publishing, I'm not a publisher, the guys that are publishing something, they also have some rights because they invest money. Uh, okay, for uh, in Horizon 2020, it said that when you win a project, you have money to pay the publisher. So, you pay the publisher in the front, 
And then the publisher will, uh, so in this case, uh, the publication will go in the same way of reviewing and so on, so the quality will mm -hmm. not go down, but the publisher will receive the money uh, from the um, uh, person who wants to publish. publish. Yeah. Well, um, here, just this point means that actually the difficulties are not removed because, again, those who have projects and who are doing some work on the project which is funded will have the chance to publish in, in journals which, uh, which already stages up their work because if you publish something in a respected journal, this means that at least two referees have seen the paper, have given their opinion, uh, have given their remarks, so the paper is of better quality. And this role of the publishers to serve as a rating agencies, which I also don't like, but it exists, and uh, the science cannot exist without this. Uh, even the funding procedure, in order to decide which project should be funded, what do you think, people, how, if you are given a project which is not in your area, how you decide whether this project is good or not? You see where the publications are. Uh, 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 so it's it's not quite easy. Okay, uh, I, I, I want to make a comment. Uh, uh, you are absolutely right, but the world is changing. The world is changing now. Everybody printed in social networking. It depends how many people likes. So it, uh, even people said, okay, let's. Uh, you are a young uh, researcher. You print in some repository without any reviewing. And if the people are uh, trying to uh, download, they comment, maybe, uh, the, uh, you're absolutely right, but maybe the way of uh, the world is going will be different. I don't say it's better. I, I fully agree that uh, in this way uh, the quality, uh, particular quality maybe is going down. But maybe if everybody in the world uh, reviewing, maybe the people said it will be better than two reviewers. Immediately I will tell you what the danger is. The danger is that downloading is an automatic thing. And immediately there will be programs which are downloading. And people will organize another business. If you want your paper to be downloaded many times, you pay to a certain organization and then it will be downloaded <laughs> several other times. So what? It's not so easy. Not I know, it's I not definitely it's not easy. Yeah, the, uh, we have to look what happens in the world and then see the future. The right. future in, indeed, the world is changing, but we have to see how the world is changing and probably this will be the most. Already there are online journals, which are reviewed journals, in which you can publish not only some text which is a uh, unchangeable text, I mean, you don't input dynamics. Now you can put in online journal also some dynamic, some model which yeah. Uh, yeah. motion, simulation. animation, simulation and all these things. So this will, this will probably prevail after some time. Yeah. It's but prevailing. Uh, you know, when, when somebody is trying to introduce regulations, I agree. We are coming from a socialist country and uh, regulations are something very good for us. But when there is an over-regulation, yeah, By regulation, you you remove chaos, chaos, by regulations. But if you introduce too many regulations, then there comes a chaos which cannot be removed by further regulations. <laughs> and we know this from our lives. Which explains so don't be so so enthusiastic. <laughs> Open access is something good, but don't forget there are two ways not to give you information. Two ways. One way is just put uh, secret on the information so it's not published anywhere and people don't know it. Another way is to provide all the information. Every day, thousands of papers, thousands of uh, uh, columns of text. Who is going to read this? How to orient yourself? This is also a way not to give information. Because information is not just data information, something structured, something from where you can get knowledge. Yeah. So it's still an open issue for men. Not only on open access, but also open issue. <laughs> the problem is, uh, open issue. Just one uh, remark more, and uh, probably, uh, uh, I mentioned MIT. Uh, I mean, MIT is 
prestigious institute said, if they put their label, and this paper is in our repository after the authors had written it. So that's enough. It's better. I mean, the, the reputation of MIT is uh, bigger, I, I think, from Elsevier. So that's why the big and the, uh, they they started this uh, after Open Courseware. But anyway, that's issue. Thank you, Open Issue. And, uh, uh, open that's why we are talking now. And probably the next. Only one word. Yeah. Uh, uh, what you mentioned. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, one of uh, web regulation makes the Google. But itself, when you search, all the publications which are in our repositories, they are coming first because we are part of European uh, scientific repositories and we will give higher weight in search. So even in this way, if you put uh, your paper in a good place, uh, the idea that people over the world will see it is also... But if there is a good place, at the moment you, you declare that some place is good. It cannot be good if everybody can put there everything, because they will put the garbage there. Yeah. So somebody decides, and this is already additional value. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I think uh, the next uh, presenter would give some uh, insight. I mean, better explanation of this phenomenon, because the. Uh, <laughs>